Hi everyone and welcome to a very sunny day at Coombwood Golf Club and the season's just getting underway and there's a couple of issues I just want to talk to you about which has been an ongoing problem throughout the winter months. Now although the greens are starting to dry out it doesn't mean that you're not going to be making pitch marks and all winter I've had complaints from people saying they're repairing any number of pitch marks per green and although like I say the greens are firming up now you're still going to be making them so we've got to be diligent you've got to look out for this sort of thing when you walk onto the green your ball's impacted please 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 have a look around if it's not your pitch mark it doesn't matter get one of these from the pro shop your pitch mark repairer get down there and let's start repairing these pitch marks and get these sorted out it's a very quick and simple operation once it's done the green is repaired no issue at all and no further damage will be done that's number one please don't forget that let's really get into these pitch marks and get it sorted out once and for all the other issue we've got, if we wander over here, is as we went into the um, COVID rules, as we came out of lockdown, the rules allowed us to not rake the bunkers because we'd taken the bunker rakes away. And I think that habit has continued with a lot of people now. They're marching in and out of bunkers and they're leaving this sort of situation. Now, I don't know how you feel about that. I'd be pretty upset and annoyed if I found my golf ball there where someone's just marched in whacked a shot and my ball has now come to rest in their mark it could be in their footprint I mean that's gonna get me pretty irate and it will you as well rakes are back in bunkers we're allowed to use them you're allowed to touch them there is no excuse there's no reason not to do it it's just a moment or two you play your shot and you come back out of the bunker take the shortest route in so you're not wasting a whole load of time but let's get these jobs done. Let's just get that out of the way and just go back over your mark, smoothing it nice and easily. When you get to the exit point of the bunker, start pushing the sand away from you so it's not building up towards the outer edge of the bunker. If you do that, we got all the sand around this outer edge, nothing left in the middle. So push the sand away from you, lift the rake head up as you go, and that disperses the sand and doesn't leave whacking great ridges of sand, which again, just as annoying as a footprint. Push that sand away, nice and clean, break down at the side, job done. Let's keep an eye on these two important issues and let's not see any more pitch marks left on greens, no more footprints left in bunkers. We're good to go.